Hello everyone. Uh, this one came out pretty cool today. Okay, uh, here I am. Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to another resin art video. <laughs> okay, so in today's video, uh, I tried the epoxy resin store general purpose resin. Uh, I really like this stuff. It, it leaves a heck of a good finish. It's got a good working time of about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, it's a thinner resin. But I kind of like that. It's it's working pretty good for me so far. So I've done two paintings with it, and man, I am impressed. I think he's got two gallons on there right now on his website for right around eighty dollars for a Black Friday sale. Uh, today it's uh, actually Thanksgiving, two thousand nineteen. So tomorrow will be Black Friday. Okay, well we'll get the art video going here in just a minute, and uh, I'll go over everything with you, show you how we did all this. And I just wanted to say Southeast Polk football, good job this year, 7-2 season, uh, tough loss to Ankeny in the playoffs. And wrestlers, I know you got a season coming up. Uh, you got one of the best coaches out there, Coach Christensen, a uh, really good coach. I think he's got 352 meet wins um, lifetime, really good coach, you guys. Uh, I came from the Horton area when I was a wrestler. Uh, Joe Horton, I got a lot of respect for that man, builds a lot of character. So wrestlers, go out there, get some pins, get some wins. Uh, remember teamwork and have a lot of fun. Okay, let's get this art video started. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, so the resin is the Epoxy Store brand resin, uh, general purpose resin, comes in a black container. Uh, it's equal parts A and equal parts B. Uh, this is a 24 inch round, so I mixed up approximately 22 ounces. Um, I mixed it for approximately five minutes. Okay, and then I put a base coat down, and then now I'm just putting the layers down. So there's a wet layer of resin down right now of clear, and then right now I'm just kind of dragging the popsicle stick through the clear resin, kind of looking for effects. Uh, Tam's got this method down there that she does, and um, she drags the pop stick through there, and it works better with more opaque colors. Um, I do get some cells with, uh, you know, some of these more translucent colors. That is the uh, Ultramarine and the um, Stormy Night right there. And then I'll heat it up a little bit and you'll see some cells start to form over there on the, uh, oh, on the left-hand top side right up there. And then I just kind of let it set and, you know, just start playing around with the colors. So that's basically what I do through here. And you can kind of watch some heat and some tilts and then, you know, just kind of dragging this popsicle stick. Um, kind of gives a cool little effect through some of this. All right, uh, let's listen to some music. And at the end of the video, um, I'll go over all the color products, everything like that. Plus, there'll be links to uh, everything down in the description, you know, to the Epoxy Resin Store. And also to um, Tam's website and stuff. And then some of the stuff that I have on the uh, Amazon website. So if you need to do any shopping, all your links are going to be down there. Okay, um, and then also there's going to be a part in this video where I create an awesome effect and I'll even put some stills in there, but it kind of takes the balance away from the painting. So I wanted this one to be pretty balanced and um, I just tried something different, you know, I'm like, eh. and uh, I don't know if I did the right thing or the wrong thing, but I still love the way that this one comes out. So, okay, I'll put some music in here and uh, we'll jam out, have some fun and make some art. Okay, cool. Here we go. <laughs>
Okay, so uh, this is the part, and this is the really cool effect that I created. But like I said, it kind of took the balance away from the uh, painting. So right here, I'm just going to do a quick little adjustment and kind of adjust it right off, you know, just with the torch, just with a little bit of a torch and tilt. Still looks really cool, but I'm like, eh. It kind of took away because it wasn't a whole line, you know. But, I mean, that's some awesome effects right there. But it just, it wasn't a whole line that went from side to side. So, just kind of torched it, tilted it, and, uh, you know, just kind of adjusted it a little bit. And then we get back to the regular program. Okay. Uh, and then there will be a lot of stills in here. And then I just kind of like to show off the finish of this, you know, epoxy resin store brand resin uh, it came out with a really really good finish so after i get done torching here i'm going to set her back down and then there should be a flyover yep right here and then uh it'll kind of just go through some stills and everything else and then i'll come back in at the end and uh we'll go over all the products and everything so and plus leave some comments below let me know if uh i did the right thing to balance the painting out or if you would have left it alone Okay, but I love this one, and I think she's really cool. So, <laughs> like I said before, as long as I like them and I think they're cool, it's good enough for me. All right, here we go. More music. Okay, uh, so the products used today, what I was excited about is I stopped and I got some new rags that didn't have as much lint as like a, uh, oh, like a bounty paper towel. Uh, all the colors are Art Tree Creations. I'll put the link to uh, Tam's website down there. And um, she's got a contest going now, I think, till uh, oh, December 1st or so where you can win, you know, $250 worth of products. So check out Art Tree uh, Creations. Uh, website and you'll learn more about that i think they have it on their instagram and facebook also um some gloves some stir sticks some cups uh this still this graduated cup like that i actually reused this one so if you flip them upside down and then you know wait a couple hours come back in and push the stuff out uh you can reuse them sometimes a blowtorch and then i prime this with this oil-based paint, uh, still rust oil, I'm mean, having good luck with this stuff. And what I did is I primed that board and then I sanded it just a tiny bit with this 320 grit. And I mean, I like the way my edges came out and the finish came out. So it's working pretty good. That little system I have is uh, working for me pretty good. Uh, some toothpicks just in case you get any dust. And then the colors we used today, like I said, they're all Art Tree Creation colors. Um, aluminum bright, that's a metal pigment. Aluminum smooth, that's a metal pigment also. Uh, Batman black, uh, ultramarine, pipeline gray, so that's an actual gray cells in there, guys, that's not white. Uh, Stormy night and cobalt lagoon. So, okay, just thought I'd go over all the products um, that were in this video. The resin back there, too, I talked about already. Man, this thing looks like a war zone. Um, that's the epoxy resin store general purpose resin. Then I got some aluminum back there. I think I might do that here soon. And then also I've been making my own cradled panels and I got a little table back there. I might do so. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what kind of project you'd like to see next. I know the holidays are coming up. It's going to get busy. So, all right, everybody. Thank you for watching. 
Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, there'll be some more videos up here to some other artwork that I've already done. Check them out. And uh, thank you and have fun making some art. Okay, everybody, happy holidays. Bye bye.